Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tim. I have a very special game for you this evening. Welcome to the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. This game is, a, is an FMV game that we played a little bit of a little while ago. Sorry, I just noticed that my microphone is a little off there. Uh, but it's not like contradiction like we played before where you kind of go around and investigate a little murder mystery that happened and it's really fun and you get to kind of dive in this game takes place in a doctor's office much like one you would happen to visit except much unlike one that you would happen to visit this one has murder that's his number one patient and also as the doctor because as it turns out good old Dr. Decker is unfortunately late. And I don't mean in that he's tardy and charging you by the hour. I mean the doctor is dead. And we, as his replacement, must figure out what the fuck happened. But it's more than that. Because he has patience. And, you know, <laughs> as ended as his mortal patients may be, his living patients still go on, and they have problems too. And we'll have to deal with them as we go through. I'm very excited by this. For those who were here for the uh, first time we played, you notice that there are a few more responses than there were that time. I think it was like 35 that we could find in that one. That number says 210 right there. Jesus. But I feel like I've stalled long enough. So without any, any further a bother, the doctor will see you now. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? Well, I, I feel like maybe you should tell me why you're here. Set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Yeah, it's our friend. You heard of it. Sorry. If I concentrate hard enough, and I know when the person's going to be asleep, I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. Sometimes, when I walk through a door, it takes me somewhere else. Literally, somewhere else. God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman get involved. What was once chaotic becomes well, more order. Starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double blazing, probably. Dr. Decker, I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. I've seen its silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Because I can see things other people can't. On the basis that the central component of our universe is chaos. I'm calling it right now, by the way. The little girl did it. Because little tiny girls in pigtails, 100% evil. 100% of the devil. I'm convinced. They arrested me. Which means that at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. No matter how much chaos that would cause. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, it's eating people. And you're just laughing. You're insane, Doctor. Listen to me. You're not listening. Sorry, I thought it was done. It kind of scared the crap out of me there. Listen to them. Huh. Well, that's certainly some setup. Doctor, you're Hi. Late. And after all those promises, never mind the patient. You're late. Hi. And after all I'm sorry, I didn't mean to leave you late. You're yes. late. Doctor, and, after late. All those, and after all those promises, never mind. Act one. Who are you? Who are you? Doctor. Doctor. Decker. I really want to know. Sorry. Mm, never mind. Let's not keep the 
patients waiting. And if you want anything, just... Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? Good. Anyway, I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I think Mariana is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later. Or tomorrow. No, probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. Why, thank you, delightful assistant whose name I've forgotten. It is definitely my 100% waifu in this game. <sighs> Shall we see the patients? <clears throat> So this gives us a little bit of context as to the UI for this game. A red dot next to the patient means we can ask more questions. Amber dot means that you're done. The continue button appears and then a green dot means that you've gotten every single response from that person possible. Watch replays in the responses tab. Uh, two stars is an important conversation. A green star, I forget what it said. And then Elin. Elin would be the nurse lady that just left us. Nurse and dating will get responses. Typing Elin won't, but if you're curious, maybe asking about the strange name. Stuck, type hint. Uh, lower the hint timer and options, check your notes, and going green will give you a hand. Excellent. I wish, is there a way, is there some way for me to read that again? Because that went by a little quick. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well, I guess here's, wait. Ah, here, okay, here we go. If the dot turns green, you've probably asked too much. So that means you've gotten all the responses you can possibly get. Uh, I guess... I can't just skip it on to the next. Yes. Yes, I can, Awer. Let's see. Ah, I see. The green stars are optional conversations, and stars will autom uh, update automatically for us. Hmm. But if you're curious, maybe ask her about her strange name. I see. So nurse and dating shows will get responses, but chat asking about her name can get some optional conversation options for you. Hmm. Interesting. And then the last hint there said, going green can turn you mad. I'm assuming that that's some sort of reference to the fact that if you're going to sit there and try and get all the green options, you're going to be here for a while. Uh, so let's see here. Be a psychiatrist is our first tip. Don't just grill people about the murder of Dr. Decker. Try and help them. Ask them how they are and try and find the root of their problem. If nothing else, it may uncover the motives you're looking for. Using keywords to answer or, or questions. <clears throat> you can use just keywords or full questions to speak to your patients. Questions are generally better as you may find more responses that way. Since you're using fuller and more complete sentences, chances are you're going to link keywords together. Uh, Decker will look to see if a patient has anything to say about Dr. Decker in general. Did you like Dr. Decker or did you kill Dr. Decker? Might reveal something else entirely. Uh, be specific, no context. Instead of asking, why did you keep going? You should ask, why did you keep going to the beach? Because going and then beach would be the con uh, key words that you have. Patients have no context, uh, concept of context. Hmm. Somebody just hey, rang listen. my doorbell. Thank you, Kisty. That was very sweet. Um, stand by for one second. My apologies. Oh, well. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, answer questions. Sometimes a patient will pose a question. It's okay to answer it just in case they want a response. Uh, do you like apples, doctor? Yes, I like apples or no, I hate apples. Might break a story open just as uh, easily. <clears throat> Sometimes patients can contradict themselves so we can catch them in a lie. Um, <laughs> Sometimes patients will contradict themselves. I hate cats, but I love all animals. Call them on this by saying both at once. Uh, you love all animals, but you hate cats. Or, hate cats, love animals. And then we can also make associative leaps. I get angry when I see red. My car is red, so therefore does your car make you angry? Or how about just straight up car angry? And then if you're stuck, play back the patient's previous responses and make sure there's no keywords that you might have missed. If you seem something like us, uh, like if it seems like something might be a keyword you haven't used before, try it, no matter how ridiculous it seems. You may become stuck when multiple keywords need to be guessed at, so typing full questions is more helpful at that point. 
Don't forget to check your notes. You might be surprised what you find there. Spend more time in the responses tab. Uh, starred responses contain clues that should be followed up on and are updated or removed after every successful question. Two star responses must be followed up on to progress. If all else fails, type hint. And then, of course, the traffic lights. Patients start out red but turn yellow when they reveal everything that you need to move on to the next act. You can keep questioning them to find all their responses and turn them green, but you don't have to. Remember, the more you uncover, the more you risk losing your own mind. Whatever that means. Either way, we pick back up right here at the green comfy couch with some of our first patients. Mariana is our first patient this morning as far as who has scheduled their appointments. And honestly, as a doctor, I feel like it's very important to keep to our appointments. So, good morning. I don't have an answer for that. I guess it's not a good morning. Let us ask the title of the chapter then. Who are you? I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? Yes. I am feeling fine. How are you today? That's a bit confusing. One at a time, maybe? Damn. I'm fine. How are you? I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? So please keep picking me up for public nudity. Oh. I see. Trouble with the cops. They do tend to frown upon public nudity these days, which is sad, really. Why, uh... Why do you go out in public naked? I'm confused. Which bit should I answer first? <laughs> oh, yes. My apologies. We were asked to do that a little bit ago. Uh, stand by. Should be able to just go right here into the menu. And unfortunately, I wasn't really sure. Oh, and now that's super loud. where to kind of set the volume of everything because as you can hear the menu music is slightly louder than the in-game stuff so let's see if this is a little bit better uh i black out sure there we go okay and then the next thing i remember i'm naked on the beach like I've been so I'm writing some notes here nobody's pressed charges yet but I can feel it yeah I wouldn't she press charges face. either but the squid necklace is interesting I just noticed that she's totally wearing a squid necklace so is there something about the beach that draws the nudity out of her um let's see so Marianne blackout Wakes up nude on beach. Easy enough. Do you like the beach? I work for myself. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. Oh. I spend okay, so a lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than I mean I'll take that as a yes, but you should come with me one day. I can show you all of the sights. Does that mean you're naked streaking? You're going to show me you're naked streaking out there on the beach? <sighs> sure. Why not? Let's go. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> uh, huh. What do you find on the beach? Nope. I already talked about that already. Let's see. Okay, so... Nudity can be pressed on a little bit more. I guess people see me in public place. But someone will take offense eventually, and I'll be charged with indecent exposure.
Anyway. How often do you black out? From blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But, but I'm not blackouts have nothing blackout. to do with holding your Dr. breath. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Huh. Then he worked it out. Interesting. It's not anxiety? Dr. Decker thought I had generalized anxiety disorder. GAD? Okay, it but it's not anxiety. Breathing badly. Do you think so, I'm breathing badly? Hmm. I don't know. Do a couple of test breaths for me. <sighs> really breathe with your chest, you know? Get it all in there. You can hmm. check my breathing if you want. Can you I check your breathing? Lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it, just if you are. Man, coming on strong, isn't she? I like your necklace. That's not really helping with my blackouts. It's not, is it? What is your necklace? Doesn't really mean Damn. anything to me. I really want to know. Because it's totally related to her beach obsession. And, well. I how often do you black out? Blackouts, which is strange. Because she can hold her breath for a really long time. How did you learn to hold your breath? I hold my breath when I'm swimming underwater. Most people do. Well, yeah, but it's not necessarily a point of pride for most people. I'll hold my breath accidentally, just for a few seconds. Hmm. I don't know why. Are you excited now? I have no idea about that. Damn. I guess give it some time, huh? Uh. I do suffer. Let me see this again. Now which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. Mm -hmm. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety. What about swimming? That's not the first time she's mentioned swimming. Do you go swimming? I'm a great swimmer. I won all these medals at school. And that would I be where she learned how to hold her really breath. Long time. Yeah, you said that. Too long. Really. Mm -mm. Too long. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Ugh. So, but that's still not all we can learn from the I blackout question. Blackouts, which is strange, as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But. I'm not swimming before I black out. <coughs> ah, what are you doing before you black out? Okay, let I me check this again. Blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. Does she say already? But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. What did Decker think caused your anxiety? There's more. Damn. Uh, Decker diagnosis. That no. Did you? Uh. See, I don't want to default to did you like Dr. Decker because I feel like that's definitely going to get a response, but there's something more specific here that I want to get to. My notes. Interesting. Mariana has black blackouts. Does she remember anything during? Ah, here we go. By blackout, I mean I don't really remember anything from the time I black out. Of course. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. So you're just a walking shell at that point. 
Um, do you get hurt while blackout? Damn. Uh, any injuries? No, nothing like that. There we that. go. I usually wake up on my side like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm partially covered by seaweed. Does she think she's a mermaid? Who... Who covered you up with seaweed? Nope. Don't know. Fair enough. I don't know. Hmm. Verbal mirroring. A new study in psychology yesterday suggests using the same words as your patients, increasing their trust, including a yes or no when answering questions gives them clear direction. Hmm. Okay. No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm... Are you tired when you wake up? When I wake up on the beach, I normally feel refreshed, which is weird, right? Yeah, because then it does seem like you scared? just go to sleep. Not yet. I just want to know what's going on. Uh, huh. Interesting. I do suffer. And that cleared out all the responses for any injuries there, you'll notice. Really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black but Dr. Decker figured it out. I feel like the main part is in the last part of that response there where she's like, and then Dr. Decker figured out what was wrong with me. But how do I? I guess I should ask about the generalized anxiety disorder. Then he worked it out. Worked out what? He eventually decided it wasn't anxiety. There we go. I'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis. We should have a fresh start. I don't want you influenced by the prognosis. <sighs> I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I, I would say that's fair. Getting sand out of your clothes every day is a bitch. Can you suggest anything that might help? Have you tried medication? I don't know about that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. New notes. Perhaps Mariana should stop going to the beach. Or record her visits. Have you tried staying away from the beach? Nope. Until somebody tells me it's going to kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? Going to the beach will kill you. Well, never mind. I tried to tell her. I tried to tell her that going to the beach would fucking kill her, but nope. Nothing. But there is more with these questions here, you'll notice. I work Do you myself. like the beach? I make bracelets from things I find on the beach. And, and sell them online. Sell online? It's early days. The business isn't doing that great, but I really enjoy my job, if that helps. It does. You can make a lot of money. Happiness at work is a, fun, a happy person. You can't usually do both. Work and fun? That doesn't mean anything. Do both? No. I Damn. But that took care of, do you like the beach, you'll notice. I love the beach. Until somebody tells me it's going to kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? 
Yes, I have. I don't. I have been addicted to something. No, I. No, I have never been addicted. That's a shame. You need to have a passion for something, Doctor. Well, now. <laughs> passion? What do you know about That's passion? Not really helping with my body. Now, apparently, nothing. Great. I don't know. Just curious as I to have. whether. Nope. Huh. Ever record visits? I film myself doing um lots of things. Oh God. It's not so easy to do when you're locked down. A little stuffy in this office now. What was that last part? I film myself doing um lots of things. It's not so easy to do when you're locked down. Hmm. Anyone ever film you? Nope. Never mind. Huh. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? So there's something in there that we can continue to ask about and press on. But I'm curious about this generalized anxiety disorder. No, nope, I guess there's nothing else there. What else? Aha! Here are two other two stars, which we should definitely investigate. You check my breathing so we might as well move on for the moment. Let's see. Do you want me to lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it, just if you are. I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, it could, but I don't remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. When do you... Try searching the angle that she doesn't have fun while working, but is still addicted to the beach. No fun at work? I don't have an answer. Uh, let's see. Where was that? Where was that? Do you I like the beach? Myself. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. I spend a lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come with me one day. I can show you all of the sights. I guess. I guess I can't really ask any more about that. That doesn't really mean anything to you. Hmm. I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, it could, but I don't remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. It's awkward trying to read these subtitles, which are absolutely at boob height. Sure, Derry, I'll ask. <laughs> hmm. There is one more statement that we can kind of check up on, of course. I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? That Are you feeling okay? Nope. That's not really helping with my body. Dr. Decker was fine. He has good relationships with his patients, as far as I know. I guess at this point, we might as well dive into who was Dr. Well, Decker. Anyone would want him dead. Nope. Can't ask about that. Hmm. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest 
anything that we Yeah, I'm the nervous sure about the, the, uh, this this breathing line is I mean it could, but I don't Definitely really double starred. Don't remember ever having a blackout while holding your breath. What are you doing when you black out? No. How often do you black out? I Let me see this again. Blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my so Maybe there's a key word in here that I can link together. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Are you a fish? About that. <laughs> nope, never mind. Cool necklace, lady. Nope, nothing. Nope. Hmm. Harwood, it was because she was a swimmer a long time ago. And she does still go swimming. I remember that she I'm was not pretty sure good. I'm my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, hmm. I mean, I guess I could type hint, but I really don't want I to don't already. I remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. What do you think is causing blackouts? I normally black out when I'm dancing. Bingo. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? I do like dancing. That doesn't mean anything to me. I like dancing. <laughs> I have. Yes. I like dancing. Cool. I dance. There we go. <laughs> I guess you just got to figure out exactly how to phrase it. Anything with a beat. What is y is your favorite song? That doesn't really where do you dance? I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know here we go, Kirsty. Nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. The Pearl. What is the Pearl? The Pearl is great because the people are so relaxed. I think that's got a lot to do with the cheap vodka shots, or maybe it's just the black lighting. Knows. Black light. No. No, never mind. Hmm. Like I said. I don't really know anyone around here. Anyone who does tends to call the cops, huh? You have no friends. Why you have I no friends? Nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. Hmm. Cheap vodka. You would think she could splurge for the expensive stuff, but she doesn't drink. You don't drink, but you like vodka? I don't know. Okay, yeah, no, that's a bunch of bullshit right there. I don't drink. How do I call her out on that? Like I said. I don't really know. The pearl is great because the people are Unless so she's buying the the shots for people. I don't have an answer for that. Yeah, I'd imagine not. That's probably pretty confusing for you. Uh Let's try that. Nope. Hmm.
this went down to a one star, curiously well, enough. Like No. Hmm. Nope. Can't do that one. I dance a lot at Let me night listen to this one more time. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My right. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. All night? I don't know. I feel like it's definitely something in the cheap vodka shots. No? Fine. Let's see how this hint system works. What does she know about Dr. Decker's murder? So actually nothing related to anything at all. Uh, what do you know about Dr. Decker's murder? Would help if I could spell well, murder correctly. that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. I am a good listener. She's not a good speller. Dr. Decker could really get inside you. It was uh, unsettling. But you let him do it. Part of the process, I guess. Um, uh, there was a lot in the statement. Oh, we got to unpack that. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? I don't know. Damn. Hmm. Dance causes blackouts. You think my dancing causes my blackouts? Maybe. No, I know it's the last thing I remember, but I don't think it's that. Sometimes I remember more, but I'm tired now. <laughs> Is that it for today? So now she wants to go. Interesting. She is now uh, yellow, amber, I guess is the color. And we could continue to question her to find out more. Like, where do you dance? And what was the prognosis? And who are you? I'm Mariana. I have no like idea Like the trench? About that. not really helping with my blackouts. Damn. That doesn't mean it. Nope. Can't say I remember more. I'm This who Mariana. are you is still double question uh, double okay? starred though. I'm Mariana. That doesn't no. Nope. I have. I don't. Nope, nothing. I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay?
that's what Dr. Decker would say. Nailed it. Hmm. I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. When I wake up, my hair is dry, but it's pretty hot at the moment. Okay, Get so you've been out in the sun for what you get. By the sun. Yeah, it's the curse of the ginger. It's possible I've been in the sea during my blackout. Hmm. It's possible that she's been in the sea when she blacks out. Sometimes I go swimming in the sea. I don't always black out. Okay. Well, that takes care of those two. And now we have just a couple more here. Why nudity? I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. Like you're not listening. Whoa. Okay then. Jesus. How do you feel when you wake up? Uh, she said she felt refreshed. Is how she felt. Like she had been sleeping all night. I think they think I'm a naturist or something. There we go. Just a nudist. Somebody who goes out naked all the time for fun. Five times? I don't know. That doesn't... Hmm. But that's I still not getting rid of the star on why nudity. And the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. Who called the police? I think we already had that answer. Um. Yeah, I definitely asked that question about pressing charges already. I guess people see me and call the police. But someone will take offense eventually, and I'll be charged with indecent exposure. Hmm. Still have no more in the notes. Question. Damn it. Maybe you should stop dancing. If that's what you want, I'll stop clubbing for a while. It's no biggie. It's not what I want. Dancing will kill you. That's not really helping with my. Wait, where was it that she said going to the beach? We'll kill you. I think I said that already. Shit. Okay. Hmm. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help?
Go to bed. By yourself. Uh, have you tried staying away from nightclubs? Stay away from dancing. You said that already. No, I don't. <sighs> I want. Hmm. Technically, we've learned enough to move on, I, but I do, I, I want to know those other I, answers because I feel yeah. like that's going to be crucial information later and on. The next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach, like I've been washed up from shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. Jewelry? That doesn't mean it. Nope. Shit. Well, well, game, that is actually an excellent question. What happens to your clothes? I never find my clothes. I don't know why I'm naked. You just kind of strew them about town, I guess? Ah. Uh, Okay, yeah, that would be the answer to why nudity. I want to stop having the blackouts. Okay. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire... Nope. <sighs> Apparently, Dairy, she, Dairy, she sells... Uh, necklaces and bracelets made of seashells by the seashore. You're not that far from the truth, my friend. I, want I feel like I'm so to close to it. Having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up. At the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? I want. I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. It's got to be something about those vodka shots, right? I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the place <coughs> because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. Or it might be about the other nightclubs. I have. Fuck it. One more. Lose weight. Stop smoking. Stop drinking. Ah. Huh. Well, that fucking doesn't help. Marianna's been through a lot. I wonder how all this makes her feel. How do you feel? I just asked that question. Like you're not listening. I am listening. 
No, I don't know about You're just not Why telling me the right information. A miracle cure that fixes all problems. You sound like a real doctor now. I don't have an answer. Let's try and lie to her here. Hmm. I could suggest someone watches her blackout. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange. Why would it say that and then not let me ask time. about it? But I'm not swimming before I blackout. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Nope, that's not going to help me. Uh, I want to get her to elaborate on why she likes going to the Pearl so much. I don't think I will. I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. Hmm. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know. I don't know about. Yeah, we've already had. I'm not we've already asked that. Ah. But you're asking. I see. Why can't a girl go to a club on her own? I like dancing. I don't have many real friends, I suppose, but that's what happens when you move about a lot. I move around. When oh, I, I see. Dance, and geographically speaking. When did you last move? So that was clearly something about moving and living by herself and it looks like we might have gotten uh where to go where to go where to go where do you dance yep that one is now done so the last star to answer is what was the prognosis to stop having the blackouts hmm i want to stop waking up at the beach I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Stop dancing. Stop moving. Stop talking. I don't know. Where are your shoes? Nope. Don't know. She doesn't know either. Why do you want to remember? Hint. Are you flirting with me? Wow. Let's get straight to it then. I'm not sure I feel comfortable speaking with you about that at the moment. Whoa. Forward. Forward thinking doctor. Mayo. I want to stop having the blackouts. 
I want to stop waking up at the beach. She's asking for something that we think could help. Nope. Another 49 seconds. So what do we think could help? We've already suggested stopping dancing. We've already suggested stopping drinking. Stop stripping. That doesn't mean it. <laughs> Sorry, Hutzman. Do you leave the club alone? Do you ever feel watched? How? Nope. Um. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings suggest anything that might help have you tried taking notes that's not really nope I didn't figure as much probably can't write notes when you can't remember anything um, Can't ask that shit. I've been a patient here for three months. Today is my patient birthday. Do I get a cake or something? No cake for you. It's okay. I wasn't really expecting one. Just kidding. I have cake. Nope. That doesn't mean it. Damn. Okay. Figured I would try. Uh. Hmm. I want to stop having There's still the something out. here. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Do you suggest anything that might help? I could suggest someone watches her blackout. Will you do it for me? Will you watch me to see what oh. happens? Oh. Oh. So, it's a date then. I'll let you know when. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. So the trick was setting up a date with Marianne the entire time. Or at least a date to watch her black out, get naked, and go right on the beach. Man. Man, it's tough to get a date in 2017. <laughs> but anyway, okay, okay, okay. Now I'm starting to get uh, my head around this game, see where things are going. Uh, we're going to take ourselves a short little break. And when we come back, I think we'll dive into our second patient. Don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm charging them $40 by the hour, not you. So don't you dare go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching this on Twitch.tv slash Tim Leftwich or YouTube.com slash Tim Leftwich. My name is, of course, Tim Leftwich. We'll be right back.
Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the doctor's office. Our patient Mariana is done for the day. We've milked all the information we possibly could out of her. So it's time to uh, move on to the next patient. So who should we see next? Should it be Bryce, the photographer, or Claire? If I remember right, she's a student of some kind. And then, of course, we could check in with Elin to see how she's doing. Elin, the nurse. And finally, Nathan. The absolute spass. Hmm. So I'm going to leave this choice up to you guys. Who should we talk to next? Nathan? Elin? Claire? Or Bryce? <clears throat> they all have information. They all will eventually be seen to. But, um... Who next? Awer wants to check in with Nathan down here at the bottom. I think he's one of the f few that actually was not in the demo. He looks new. I kind of want to know more about him, too. Who are you? I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. Interesting. Don't like your job? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then, either. Ah, I see. Okay, then. You're going to be a fun and responsive one. From hell? I imagine what I'm experiencing now might be a type of hell. Not everyone burns in flames with the devil on their back. I'm hoping you can make sense of my problem. It's quite literal. Flames on your back. I don't have anything to say. I don't know. Hmm. Why are you here? It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over so you're depressed. and over. Nothing changes. Fair enough. Yeah. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? You are in purgatory. Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. I think we all kind of are. That's the perpetual state of being. Nope. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's hmm. the point? Ask him why he looks so bored. Nothing changes. Fair enough. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? And of course, all my notes are about Mariana right now. Great. Awesome. Perfect. It's like those montages. I... I do suffer from depression, but it's not very surprising, is it? No, that shirt sure would make me depressed, too. too. Just overwhelming times. Hmm. I don't really get that anymore. I just... Learn to accept that this is my life now. No. Sorry. Okay, so you're not tired now. You don't feel like taking a nap. Like That's good. Montages you get in movies. I would have to charge you for the Time sofa passes, space. You wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over. Nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? So how am I going to break into this crazy like nut? Montages you get in movies. 
ton cost is most of my days a blur. I'm not sure if it's the sleeping tablets I'm on or just how I've learned to switch off. Sleeping tablets. I'm on Tamazepam. Dr. Huh. Decker prescribed them for me. He thought so I Dr. Gabe, De De here's our first day. time Dr. Decker actually did a little bit of doctor's work there. I'm on Tamazepam. What was that third sentence there? Dr. Decker prescribed I wish you could skip me. line by line. Sleep through that would be nice. Day. I didn't. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him, but he won't remember it that way. Why wouldn't he remember it that way? As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five, ten, fifty times before I got to Tuesday. Interesting. What day is it today? Sorry. What is today? What? Damn, nothing. So this guy's absolutely bona fide as far bonkers. As Dr. Decker was concerned. We had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five, ten, fifty times before I got to Tuesday. How did you spend? Or rather, what did you do Monday? I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. To see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gotten. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Find anything? I don't know. Did you see your shadow? <laughs> I don't have an answer to that question. <laughs> hmm. So then that takes care of why wouldn't he remember it that way? I watched that Bill Murray film, Ground. Do you like Bill Murray? You asked me that yesterday. Nope. At least that's not the question I we need to ask. Bill Murray film, Groundhog hmm. Day. To see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gotten. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Uh, stop taking sleeping pills. I don't know anything. Hmm. Do you like the beach? I don't have an answer to that question. Apparently you can go there and get all the sleep you need. You just wake up naked. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him, but he won't remember it that way. I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. Let's just say really you now? might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were alike for him. In the end, like he couldn't decide what to do with himself. He was like a kid in a sweet shop. He had so many options, he didn't know what to do. I suppose if you take too long picking, all your options run away. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. So now we can go back to why Sometimes are you here? Montages, you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? Hmm. You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Sometimes it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak, or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, doesn't do it today. Yeah, that'd be just a glitch in the matrix for you, right? You need a tragic event to change. 
like a murder. Like Dr. Decker's Dr. Murder. Decker's murder was sudden. Brutal. It's terrible. The doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do-overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. Hmm. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? Few things seem to move me forward. What moves you forward? To move forward, I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound. Like a death or some other tragedy. It's not enough to hear it or read it. I've, I've got to see it. So then did you see I suppose from that point the murder? It's like I'm in control of things. I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. What did... Can you help me, Doctor? How did Bill Murray escape? What? I don't know. How did... I've seen Groundhog Day enough times that I should know the answer to this question, but I don't. How did Bill Murray get out of the movie? I don't know. Sorry. Nope, never mind. Just checking. I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. Sure. This this is our first time around, and I trust you. Uh-oh. Sometimes it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak. Or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event. To change. I think you will, Laywer. <clears throat> Murder. I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. I pulled out, and the lorry just rammed me. Well, Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through. That was five years ago. Fine, how about just five years ago? I don't have anything to say. I didn't Stop. see the driver. It was my fault. Something in there. I pulled out and the lorry just ran. My fiance. 
Okay, I fine. Let's just start with who was Hannah. We met at secondary school. She was head girl. I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. Of course. I proposed in Goldshire. She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. Sorry, it's Warcraft. We spent a lot of time on that. <sighs> of course you did. Azeroth shall not miss you. Uh, for the Horde? No, sorry. Oh, you dirty fucking Alliance player! <sighs> I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. You asked me that yesterday. I don't know. Hmm. My fiance, my childhood sweetheart. We met at secondary school. She was head girl. I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. I proposed in Goldshire. We played World of Warcraft a lot together. There we go. Now we're getting a little bit more flavor. We had a lot of memories there. No, I get it. Warcraft was really big for a long time. Now, the same thing. Kind of is now, but again. not. Bring no. me X bunnies to make a stew. Y badger teeth. Rinse, repeat. <laughs> Maybe I'm just grinding life. At least he realizes that it's a shitty game. <laughs> I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. Yeah, you're and living in hell, as it were. Heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy, and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. I used to be a builder, contractor. I had to quit. You'd be working the same jobs over and over again, huh? I need to start all over again the next day. God damn it. I needed something less obvious. I don't know any. Hmm. Let's get back to these other tragic events. It was my fault. I pulled out, and the lorry just ran. No. Nope. I didn't see the driver. Hmm. It was my fault. I pulled out and the lorry just ran me. Well, Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. When I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. But it wasn't right. Not natural. Bits of metal pushing through. That was five years ago. Weird. I still feel like we should have some kind of notes by now on him. Hmm. Sorry. What? I don't have anything to say. Nothing. Shit. Fine. Ah. Fit a couple of things there. What do you want to talk about first? I don't understand. Uh, do you still feel like the accident was your fault? I don't understand what you're. Really? Fit a couple of things there. 
What do you want to talk about first? I can't answer that. Huh. I didn't see the driver. Okay, so then if it's... It's my fault. But... Uh, why would it... Why would it have just said to ask him if he still feels like the crash was... Crash? I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Good job, Awar. Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. I don't have an answer. What? Hmm. I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day. What was your mistake? No, I can't move backwards any more than a day. I don't really seem to control it. It's generally always on. I have to try and change something to move forward. Ah, I see. Crash mistake. Now that crash is gone. Okay. I'm not really fit for work anymore. Nope. I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people mm. to buy, and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. Not aging? I'm 57. Whoa! Just if you spent the whole day at the gym, and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. You look good for 57. I don't know. Sorry. Jesus. So he thinks he's 57 years old, huh? So... You are 57, but the crash was five years ago. Nope. Fine. How about another hint? Do you still think the accident was your fault? I was fine for quite a while after the accident. I well, feel like I just asked that question fresh. in that exactly a way, but whatever, whatever, whatever. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a... Strange deja vu. Interesting. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? No. No, Nathan, our time is not up yet because I still have a few more questions for you, sir. What moves you move forward? forward? I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound. Like a death or some other tragedy. It's not enough to hear it or read it. I've, I've got to see it. I suppose from that point of view, it looks like I'm in control of things. In control of things? I'm not in control. Bingo. Look, look at That's me. the one we I'm want. Broken. You need to help me. And Nathan is now green. Neat. So that's patient number two down. At least for now. Crazy boy Nathan. An insane mer girl, Mariana. So who's next? Bryce? Claire? Or Elon? Who's next on our wonderful green doctor's couch? Hmm. Oh, trust me, Awar. I have a feeling he'll be back. Remember those questions for later. But what's funny is we still don't have any notes on him. Like, not at all. Okay, 
Elin it is. Who are you? I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. Oh. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Well, let's try Elin is a strange name. I'd really like to be able to ask. Apparently it's a Welsh name. I'm not Welsh. My oh, okay. My into all that new age stuff and I think she thought it would make me seem more interesting. Do you think you are interesting? No. Sorry. Oh, I see. So you're just wasting my time here. Um. Oh, Jaya. Sorry for writing in your notes. Can you let Elin know that Terry called for her? That's my my wonderful assistant, Jaya. Oh, I forgot about her. I missed her so much. Uh, let's see. Hey, Elin. Terry called for you. Yes, I can talk about all of that. What do you? Who is Terry? Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. I don't think she likes me very much. Why doesn't Terry like you? Nope. I'm really bad. I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically Nailed do it, life care. The usual things, making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain, and I talk to them. I keep them company. Ah, Some yes. Elin, the very them. strange nurse. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. You seem very happy for someone who deals with death. No, I don't like it. I feel lucky to share that moment with them, to be there with them when it happens. Do you know what I mean? When they die. You like to be there when they die. Nope. <laughs> The usual hmm. things, making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain, and I talk to them. I keep them company. I haven't really got anything to say. I feel really bad. Hmm. I'm Elin. Let's go back here. I'm 25. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. Yes, I love my job. I love my patients. Even the really crotchety ones, you know? Oh God, you should hear what comes out of their mouths. But they're like my children in a way. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Very weird. No, sorry. I don't know. I haven't really got any. I don't know anything. I had to. I had to. Why are you here? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. About all the death that you see. Sometimes. Work is stressful? It can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient. But that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. But you literally just said that you do get stressed. The job that stresses me. It's the there we I go. With. Now we're getting the somewhere. Nurses. 
They're mean to me. Why are the other nurses mean to you? They call me the Angel of Death because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. They're old. People die when they're old. I mean, medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. They're all natural causes, though. I don't know. Sorry. Nothing. Ah, yes. Tell me about Dr. Decker. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. You paid him to be interested. Well, yes, that's true. <laughs> But still, it was nice to be listened to. You like talking? I don't know. Um, hmm. Was Dr. Decker a good listener? Nope. <sighs> I've known a lot of doctors. Lots of doctors. I'm really bad at this. How have you known doctors? No. Well, I mean, besides the fact that she works in a nurse's I've known home, a lot but of doctors you know, kind of want more specifics. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding. No. I feel really bad. <sighs> I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was a bit offbeat, but... Bingo. Yeah, I like him. But then, I like most people. But did you like, like him? I'd really like to be able to answer you, but I don't know what to say. A simple yes or no would be fine, really. Well, yes, that's true. <laughs> but still, it was nice to be listened to. Well, I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> My patients listen to me. But then I suppose they haven't got much choice. No, they're kind of your prisoner. Isn't that right? Why don't they have much choice? I don't know. Leave your patients alone, you I'm crazy really bitch. Like nope. Like Terry. Okay, well, that takes care of the star there. Why are the other nurses mean to you? Because so yes, back on the angel of death subject. Shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Why would your patients, T-I-E-N-T-S, deaths, be your fault? No. Nope. Uh, hmm. They call me the angel of death. And then I asked so about angel of death. We've already kind of taken shift. care of that route. I don't think they... No. Nope. Nothing they about dying on their shift. Angel of death. Because so many patients have died on my shift. Hey, Kisty. Welcome back. I don't mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. I 
Death is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. No one should. Not afraid of the Dutch angle ever. that this shot is being done at. Death is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great mm. unknown. No one should have to face that alone. Frightening, isn't it? No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? I think nothing happens when you die. Well, that's bleak, but I don't believe it. Huh. What do you think happens when we die? I haven't really got anything. Where does death's door go? Nope. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably hmm. because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like. What have you seen then? I feel really. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. Of course. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. Ah, doorway. Just not sure where. Thank you, Awer. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? I feel really Crap. bad. I don't know. No. Nope. Well, sorry, Queen. Uh. I haven't really got mm, I don't believe in God, so I can't really claim to believe in heaven. Okay. So the doorway's not to heaven, but that wasn't the answer no, here. Death doesn't scare me. It's probably I'm really bad at Hmm. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? A doorway to another place, but I'm not sure where. They call oh, well, me back to the other nurses. Because so many patients have died on my shift. Uh huh. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. So then, why? Uh, I mean, that doesn't really explain why the nurses are mean to you. Bad luck? No. Are you a black? cat. Yeah, you me like? too. I have a cat called Church. He's adorable. I'd really like to be able to... I love animals, especially cats. There you go. That's how we get the cats. I'm a cat person or a dog person. What are you, Doctor? And then we talk about the cat stuff. Hmm. 
Elon asked me where we go when we die. Heaven, Valhalla maybe. I can think of half a dozen more. Yep. Hmm. Nice. Ah, how many patients have died on your shift? Mm, three last month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. Who is Hilda? She's one of the crotchety ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me, though. Are you going to smother Hilda? Are you? Wait. I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? What? I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? I'm really bad at this. What else could I ask her about Valhalla? What? There's literally nothing else there except I don't really know what that is. Something to do with Vikings. Yes, Valhalla is Viking heaven. What else can I say there? Hmm. Oh, am I spelling it wrong? I don't really know what that is. Really like to be able to answer. No. God damn it. Hello, it would help if I could spell. It's nice to meet you. Hey, Kevin. Uh, kind of. It's an investigation type game, like uh, maybe her story or or contradiction. We're trying to figure out exactly who killed Doctor Decker, the doctor before us, by interviewing his patients, finding out what's wrong with them, and eventually piecing the whole story together. I don't really know what that is. Right now, uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? Yes. I don't know. Nope. Uh. Hum. I'll come back to that. No, so there's one more me. here in death Probably doesn't scare me around it so much but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear I don't think death is an end I think it's a doorway to another place I'm just not sure where Ooh. where do you think we go when we die doctor good good point Dan I think we are reincarnated I've never really got the idea of reincarnation I mean, are you still you? Good pull, Dan. Do you Very know good pull. You're still you. And if not, how does that even work? I haven't really. Let's ask about the necklace. I think Kisty was asking about it earlier. Know. Nope. Uh, lock it. Nope. Nothing. Ah. 
Why are some patients out of it on meds? Good question. I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated, especially when there are alternatives like herbal remedies. Right. I mean, I remember now. She's the one who's actually a net. Well, I would say a naturalist, but that means something else completely different in the UK. I remember there being something else about both the herbal remedies and also. I'm a qualified herbalist. So there we go. You can laugh. Hmm. Most people think herbalism is a joke. But I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. And that's not the first time we've heard of tamazepam. Also. We've reached her amber point, which means we can dive back in and figure out everything I'm else. Um, I'm a qualified herbalist. Traditional medicine makes patients worse sometimes. There we go. Now we're finding out a little bit more about you the must naturalist. See it all the time, doctor. Or uh, take one pill, herbalist. God, see, king, see, queen, you got her. Other pills to deal with <laughs> you got the redhead back on my mind. Herbs are kind of. Obviously, you have to be careful, just like with everything. Giving the wrong combination can be deadly. Fortunately, I know what I'm doing. Do you now? No. Were you giving your patients herbal remedies? No. I don't like uh, it when patients are heavily sedated. Okay. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? No, I wouldn't want to be asleep. Exactly. I there we like go. Now we're moving criminal. forward. Like you're robbing people of their last moments on Earth. Uh -huh. You should be able to savor the experience, not sleep your way to death. How do you want to die? No. Did you kill Dr. Decker? How did Dr. Decker die? Nope. Hmm. Did you see Dr. Decker recently? Exactly. I feel like it's almost criminal. Like you're robbing people of their last moments on Earth. Uh-huh. You should be able to savor the experience. Not savor the experience of death. I'm not saying anyone should be happy about dying. I've seen lots of people die, and it's a special moment. What? There's literally nothing else like it. Oh, she is super bazonkers. Like, absolutely buttfuck crazy. I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? When a Viking dies in battle, he goes uh, to Valhalla. Nope, nothing. Shit. Uh, we go to purgatory. I thought I was stuck in purgatory once. But then I realized I was just watching a really, really bad film. Sorry. I'm terrible at jokes. Was the film Groundhog Day? I haven't really got any... I'd really like to be able... Just checking. Okay, so where are we at here? Still the Vikings. I don't really know what that is. Uh, something to do with Vikings, isn't it? Hmm. So 
So what else does she have available here? Are you afraid no, of death? Still has scary. one star. It's probably because I've been around. What scares you? I'm really bad at this, um. No? Huh. Kel Bazaar. Yes, I love my job. I love my patients. Even the really crotchety ones, you know? Oh God, you should hear what comes out of their mouths. But they're like my children in a way. That sounds weird, doesn't it? I don't have any kids. Maybe I will one day. I don't know. Oh, I guess maybe you're supposed to ask, do you have children? Care of my patients. Since your patients fo focus as your children, you probably don't have any children your own. Apparently it's a Welsh name. I'm not Welsh. My mum's into all that new age stuff, and I think she thought it would make me seem more interesting. So then what about mum new age? New age. Like auras and healing energy crystals and all that. It's not really my thing. Okay. Are herbs not new age? Oh, come on. I can't connect those two dots and say she's being just like her mom? No. Death okay, fine. Scary. Let's go back to deaths. It's probably hmm. because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. What have you seen of death? Nope. Hint. Uh, we become one with the universe. Maybe. Sure, why not? Maybe we go somewhere completely <laughs> beyond what we can imagine. That's kind of funny. We're only humans after all. We can't possibly comprehend what's really out there. Do you believe in aliens? I don't know. Nope, never mind. Have you seen some shit? No. <laughs> hmm. No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. No, sorry. Nope. Nothing about Welsh and Vikings connecting. Sorry, bub. 24 seconds left until another no, hint. Death doesn't scare Let's try again. It's probably because I've been around it so much. Uh huh. Around death so much. I'm really bad. Around. Ah, movie length. That probably is for the amount of time that we've actually been playing this game tonight, which is around two hours. Perfect. Uh. I'd really like to. No, death doesn't scare me. Hmm. It's probably because I've been around it so much. But Welsh is uh, right there next to the UK. That's made me in Wales. Like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? Hmm. When someone says afterlife it just makes me think of wispy figures floating around in a white haze yes you ghosts you get those new age posters i don't really go for all that new age posters like your mum okay nope no death doesn't scare me there's still something else there though No, death doesn't scare me. Hmm. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. There's something about the way sure she where. says, I haven't Where's seen enough about doctor? death to make me think that it's something to fear. 
Thanks, Dari. Fifteen seconds. Hell isn't real. Whoever came up with that idea has a lot to answer for. Okay. So she doesn't think we go to hell. In fact, that was the last thing that she thought about the afterlife, which is great. Except, of course, what happens in Valhalla, which stays in Valhalla. To do with Vikings, isn't it? I haven't really got any. Hmm. What do you know about Dr. Decker? Murder. I feel like that should be fairly important to going on with the act, so right? Awful. No one deserves to die like that. Like what? Die like what? I'm really bad at this, um. How did Dr. Decker die? Motherfucker. Piece of shit. I think it's terrible what happened to him. So awful. No one deserves to die like that. How did Dr. Decker die? Nope. Bubkiss. Shit. Oh. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. Thank you, Huntsman. We taught her something new today. Oh yeah. Okay, so... In that case... Is there anything else that we can ask her about? No. I mean, yes. But we don't have anything here. So what does the hint say? How long have you been seeing Dr. Decker? Uh, I've been seeing him for about nine months, I think. Cool. And that's her final answer. Okay. How neat. Huh. So things are starting off kind of slow so far. And unfortunately, I think this is where we're going to have to call it for a night. But I am definitely enjoying myself so far. There is a dark and very deep mystery here. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to make you wait to find out what it is. I'm sorry. I have a large move coming up this weekend. And well, ladies and gentlemen, say goodbye to this place. Uh, this is the last stream that we'll have in this old set. And when I see you next... We'll be in the new house, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, look forward to that. We'll be right back here. Same Tim time, same Tim channel right here on Tuesday. Where we'll pick right back up where we left off. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a new Tuesday game. Woo! And that means we're going to be playing this on Tuesday as well as Persona on Thursday and Saturday. So look forward to that, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching this on twitch.tv slash the numbers. My name is Tim Leftwich. Look forward to updates from the move over the weekend. Wish me luck. We're going to fucking eat it. And until next time.